Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art. Today I'm going to show you how to recreate a tracking effect in PowerPoint. So let me just go ahead and show you the effect that you're going to create. So you have this character, and let's say she's walking from her office to the cube. And uh, we did this using still images. So, uh, you know, it's not going to be the same as video, but it is kind of a cool effect that you can create with, uh, that makes it look like she's walking just with two different still images. So let's go ahead and actually get into the file and I'll show you how to do that. And uh, it's created in PowerPoint and I will give you the source files so that you can follow along. It will have both the images in there and the pre-built animation so that you can follow along with the lesson. And if you stick around to the end, I have a special bonus for you there as well. So let's go ahead and get into this. Um, let me zoom out a little bit here um, and let's go ahead and uh, start with a kind of a blank slide with just the images in it and I'll strip out the animations. So let me pull out the animations in, in this and we will start from scratch. All right, so you'll see what I have here is two different images. I've got um, I've got the woman character, and then I've got the background. And um, really, what I did to make her look like she was walking was two different effects. So I uh, I animated, oops, so I animated it with a uh, with a teeter effect. So let's go ahead and go to animations, add animation. Um, we'll have to go down to more options, and the teeter is here. Let's click OK. And I know that I want her to teeter more than once, so let's just go ahead and, and go into that. And we'll have her teeter effect options. We'll have her repeat that five different times for one second. That's fine. Um, we'll, we'll figure it out later. So that's kind of what the teeter looks like. But we also want to make it look like she's walking. So what we need to do is apply a second effect. So let's go to add animation and we're going to add a motion path. So we'll add a line to her. Right now it defaults to going down. We'll go ahead and change that. Um, so if I drag the endpoint here, and this is going to be a little bit of trial and error in terms of what looks good and what looks kind of weird, uh, but let's let's make it start with previous so it's doing both the teeter and the motion path at the same time and let's preview what that looks like all right so uh she it's a, we have kind of a weird effect on here with um oh looks so the, the timing isn't isn't right we want them both to be five seconds so let's go ahead and make that five seconds but it looked like it also had a smooth start smooth end which i didn't want so let's go back to the effect options get rid of the smooth start smooth end so it kind of happens as one fluid motion and let's see that's just previewing the one let's preview them both together all right so now she's kind of hobbling along there and you can play around with it you don't have to use the teeter as well you could just use a custom motion path as well but uh, i think this this works pretty well so just like that it's fine um but I think you can do something more interesting by adding some motion into the background as well. It'll create a little bit of a parallax effect. So let's do that. Um, let's go ahead and click on the background. Let's add an animation. Um, we'll do another motion path and we'll make this move slightly to the left. So let's drag the endpoint of this one. Let's just move it a little bit just to there and let's make it the same length five seconds let's go to the effect options um, let's not have the smooth start or smooth end there let's click ok and let's make sure it, i can't remember if i made it play with previous or not start with previous okay so now let's look at what that happen what happens when we apply all of those together and yeah, so that little parallax effect, I think, adds a lot. So uh, it's really easy to do. That's uh, that's all there is to it. Um, let's watch it one more time. And you can play around with how long the duration is. But if you're using this as a transition, um, going from, you know, in part of your storytelling, going from the office to the cube to maybe talk to somebody over there, I think that could work really well instead of just doing a, a cut from one to the other. So that's, uh, I think that's, that's pretty interesting. Um, I do have, uh, if you wanted to take it to the next level, you can actually save this out as a movie. Um, so if your authoring tool doesn't have these motion path effects um, and you want to record this as a movie and then insert it as a movie, you can do that and I have a separate lesson for that. 
Thanks for sticking around. Uh, as I did mention, I have a bonus for you. Uh, you have this free download with a bunch of great files in it. So uh, I suggest you you can click on uh, click on the link in the video, or if you're on mobile and you need to look at the show notes, the link is there as well. I've also included uh, several recommended videos that are, are similar to this one. And as always, if you could do me a huge favor and uh, like the video, uh, that would mean a lot to me. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, as I create them, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel and uh, you'll get notifications uh, when I do create new lessons. Thanks so much for your time and you have yourself a great day.